Big Con, Big Con, Shalom, all praise to the Most High and the Son, thanking him for another opportunity to learn about the Bible, to learn about the Holy Scriptures. I'm going to get into it today. Israelite men continue. These brothers, they continue to downgrade these Israelite women. Bring it out. They continue. Man. Our Israelite sisters, they feel trapped in this truth, bro. That's right. Bring it out. The men are so power hungry that they degrade women constantly. That's right. Constantly. Creating doctrines off of degrading the same one that they sleeping in the bed next to every night. This is a man centric movement. Can't you tell? Bring it out. Very man, manly. The man rule. It's a man world. It's the man. Bring it out. Give me this first video. Let's get right into it. Got a lot today. Children. That means that I have attended five kindergarten graduations, including my own. I distinctly remember standing in front of parents, guardians, and grandparents singing, I believe I can fly, with my head held high and my chest pushed out. I knew, and all four of my younger siblings knew, that we could grow up and fly high and touch the sky, living up to our full potential. What better song to use to encourage and uplift young children? Kindergarten graduations and I Believe I Can Fly go together like peanut butter and jelly. But the singer behind that song, Robert Kelly, professionally known as R. Kelly, allegedly raped and assaulted countless young girls, some as young as 14 years old. He has been exploiting manipulating and violating girls for longer than I have been alive. The scariest part about it is that everyone knew and no one did anything. No one helped these young girls and no one saw that an injustice was done even when there was video evidence. I will not go into the details of Kelly's heinous acts but he represents a specific form of rape culture that preys after an extremely vulnerable group, black girls. Sexual violence plagues all women across all racial backgrounds, but black girls are left extremely vulnerable and are at a higher risk of victimization. Over 60% of black women have reported that they have experienced some form of sexual violence by the age of 18. Over half of the black women in the United States of America have been violated before they were even legal adults. One, uh, All of these women are in the truth. That's right. All of them. When these sisters come into the truth, man, a high percentage of them, they're broken. Bring it out. They're battered. They've been abused through past relationships, mentally, physically, emotionally, verbally abused in these past relationships from their mothers, from their fathers. From their, from the, from the, from the kids at their schools, from from their environments that they have growing up in these streets, and these sisters coming in, man, they looking for love, they looking for that reboot. But man, it just seemed like man, brothers, they just want to bash them. Bring it out every time. 
Some of us got a lot of blood on our hands, man. A lot of it. And the sisters, man, they're not going to say nothing, bro. They're going to murmur amongst each other. They're going to say a little bit of this and say a little bit of that. But they've been told to submit, so they can't say nothing. And they hold it in for months and months and years and years, and they normally explode. And when they explode, that's when we call them wicked, because look how she acted. That's why I bring it out. Bring it out. She's, she's, she's not in the spirit. Look how she acted. Bring it out. But the men of Israel have are lacking the compassion on the woman. Let's bring it out. Lacking that. Lacking it. Give me Proverbs 31 and 10. Let's get into it. Bring it out. Lacking it. And how, how, how are we going to take back the, the, the world, the nation, without the woman? Let's bring it out. How can you do that, bro? How can you do that? Bring it out. These women need to be uplifted. They need encouragement. A lot of them sitting on the can, man. They got to get up. But a lot of them, they sitting on the can because they feel trapped. That's right. They Bring feel enclosed. Bring it out. They don't have an avenue to get up. Because half the men doing it to them. Read this, Ark. Proverbs 31 and 10. Read a little bit louder. Proverbs 31 and 10. Read. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above root. Give me Proverbs 3 and 11. Bring it out. Because that virtuous woman, th this is not, this is not even... You can use it now. I'm telling you, but the spiritual understanding a virtuous woman is wisdom. That's right. It is wisdom, and you have to understand, you brothers, man, start putting some respect on the woman. Bring it out. Why Bring do you out. think that the scriptures? You matter of fact, give me Proverbs three and eleven. Read this. Proverbs three and eleven. Read. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he corrected, even as a father, the son in whom he delighted. Can you read it? Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that get understanding. Give me Proverbs 4 and 5. Happy is the man that get wisdom. Happy is the man that find wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. What does this mean? Read this up. Proverbs 4 and 5. Read. Get wisdom. The Lord is telling us to get wisdom, man. Read. Get understanding. Get understanding. Read. Forget it not. Don't forget it. Keep reading. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. Keep reading. Forsake her not. Read again. Forsake her not. Read again. Forsake her not. Why is wisdom compared to a woman? Bring it out. Read. You know the Bible is a very manly book. Very manly. He all the time. All of the all of the, the prophets and the apostles and the pastors and the judges were men. Come, come. But when the scriptures talk about wisdom, it always talk about her. Anybody know why? Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. See, because that's what the woman embodies. She embodies that. But us, man, in these seats. We don't we don't became we don't became we don't became so 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 prideful that we just diminish our role, man. We just diminish it. Bring it out. To cooking and cleaning and taking care of the babies. Bring it out. Put some respect on it. Understand what you're dealing with, brothers. Read it again, read verse six. Forsake her not. See that wisdom. The scriptures say forsake her. Forsake her not. Because that wisdom has a vibe to it. It has an energy behind it. It has an understanding behind it. And it comes from the feminine side. Read. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve. You see how that wisdom preserves you, brother? You see how that wisdom preserves you? Yeah. That's what she does. That's right. She preserves. Read. Love her. Read again. Love her. Read again. Love her. Man, these brothers are not being taught how to love nothing in the truth. Break it out. Bloodshed. Uh, uh. Fighting, going to war, cutting heads off, right. uh, chains, yokes, and fetters. Bring it That's out. Right. Bring it out. Brother been in the truth five years, never been told to love his wife. That's Bring right. it out. To love his sister as himself. 
The scriptures say love her. Love her. Love her. We love her. And she shall keep thee. That's what wisdom does. Wisdom. Wisdom. It's compared to a woman because that's what women bring to the table. Read. Wisdom is the principal thing. Read again. Wisdom is the principal thing. Read. Therefore, get wisdom. You got to get it. Get wisdom. That's the principal thing. Read. And with all thy getting. And with all your getting. Read. Get understand. And again, this wisdom is being compared to a woman. It's being compared to a woman for a reason. That's right. Sisters, they come in the truth and they get put to sleep. Bring it out. Bring it out. Sisters, sisters come in the truth and they just lose all of their beautiful qualities about themselves. They put them in the closet. That's Bring right. it out. Bring it out. Because these cats, man, that's what they tell them to do. That's right. Read. Exalt her. See, the Lord is telling us to exalt her this wisdom again. This is wisdom. But I'm showing the aspect of wisdom is a woman. It is compared to a woman. Exalt her. Wisdom. Read. And she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor. When thou dost embrace her, she shall give to thine head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to Proverbs thee. Proverbs 31 and 10 again. We're going a little bit fast today because, you know, I got a lot. But Proverbs 31 and 10 again, man, these brothers, bro, just be down in these sisters, man. Every time. Right. Every time, man. Right Look at these guys on Facebook with their 3, 4, 5, 18 wives, doctrines, man. These guys want 17 wives and got 17 baby dad, baby mamas. Right Don't know how to take care of one of them. A lack of love for the sister. A lack of knowing how to maintain your girl, dog. Bring it out. Bring it out. A lack of understanding. Look at these posts, man. How these brothers be dogging these sisters out. Bring it out. And these simps, they be agreeing with that too. Yeah, yeah, man. That's right, man. That's Bring right. That's right, man. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He's all right. Simps. A simp. That's right. A simp. Proverbs 31 and 10 again. Read it again. Proverbs 31 and 10. Read. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above, Ruth. Give me Proverbs 3 and 13. And I'm showing you that this virtuous woman is wisdom. But why is it compared to a woman? Our women are tender and delicate. Right. Don't even want the soles of their foot to hit the ground. Bring it out. Bring it out. But brothers, we bash them, man. We bash them. We bash them. Over and over and over again. Bashing them. Over and over and over again. Sickening, man. That's right. Sickening. Proverbs 3 and 13. Read that. Proverbs 3 and 13. Read. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom. Read. And the man that getteth understanding. And the man that getteth that understanding from wisdom. Read. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. For the merchandise of wisdom is better than silver. And the gain of fine gold. Keep reading. She is more precious than Ruth. Read again. She is more precious than Ruth. Read again. She, she is, is more, more precious, precious than Ruth. Ruth. Give me Proverbs 31 and 10. Read that again for him, Mark. Hopefully we can get some understanding of the scriptures. The scripture says that that wisdom is more precious than rubies. Give me Proverbs 31 and 10. Read that again. Proverbs 31 and 10. Read. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above Ruth. What you think the scripture is talking about right here? Bring it out. <laughs> Teach. <laughs> you know man you know we got to come to balance man and Christ is the only way that we can get that balance That's right you know brothers are still to this day man we struggling bro with Christ Christ right. is that stumbling stone for us for a lot of us That's right for a lot of us disciples of Moses bring it out that's right bring, bring it, out. it out bring it out and, and that's just what it is man bring that out we need more. 
Go back to Proverbs 3 and 15. Read that again. Uh, Proverbs 3 and 15. Read that. Proverbs 3 and 15. Read. She is more precious than rubies. See that wisdom. That's what's more precious than rubies. But the wisdom of the feminine side of the aspect of life, brothers and sisters. You have the man side, you have the woman side, you have up, you have down, you have left, you have right, you have in, you have out. You have the woman and you have the man. That's right. Read verse 15 again. She is more precious than rubies. See, that wisdom is more precious than rubies. Read. And all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Give me Proverbs 31 and 10 again. I'm just showing you that. I keep saying this over and over, brothers and sisters. When you read the scriptures, when you read the Bible, you're reading the same thing over and over and over and over again. It's just brothers and sisters, they're trying to actually put this in their mind and trying to make it real. Like, you got to understand, this is talking to your heart. Read this. Proverbs 31 and 10. Read. Who can find a virtuous woman? Who can find this real wisdom? And you read Revelation 20 and 1 about that woman. About Israel is made to, to is, is made in likeness of a woman. That's right. That's right. Women are important. That's right. We need them every days of our lives. That's right. That's right. Just as the same as they need us That's on the right. every days of our lives. But it's too egocentric, man, in these Hebrew Israelite camps. Bring it's it too male dominant. Male dominant. Male dominant. And that's a false balance. Read. For our price is far above rubies. See, that wisdom is far above rubies, as we just read in Proverbs 3 and 15. Keep reading. The heart of her husband don't safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Give me Proverbs three. And, give me give me Proverbs three and sixteen. She will do him good all the days of his life. Her husband does trust safely in her. Okay. Right. Right. When you go back to Proverbs 3, check this out. You're going to read the exact same thing as you read in Proverbs 31. Listen to this. Read this. Proverbs 3 and 16. Read. Length of days is in her right hand. Length of days is in her right hand. Read. And in her left hand, riches and honor. And in her left hand is that riches and that honor. Read. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. See, her husband does trust it in her. She is a tree of life. To them that hold upon her, read. And happy is everyone that retaineth her. You see how it is about that her. I just, I'm, 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 I'm setting the mood right now. I'm setting it. I'm setting it. Out. Understand this. I, 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 I've asked this question multiple times, man. As long as I've been teaching Wednesday class, I say, show me where the woman cannot understand the scriptures. I say, find me that precept, man. Bring it out. Find me that scripture. That's right. Find it to me. Show it to me. But how we promote this movement, how we promote this walk, we say that God not dealing with women. Bring it out. Boy, it out. come on, fam. Bring it out. Come on. Come on. What? What do you think wisdom is? Wisdom is a woman. Bring it, out. Bring it, out. it is a woman. Boy. Give me Ecclesiasticus 4 and 11 in the Apocrypha. Brothers and brothers, brothers in these camps, man, man, they continue to just downgrade and put shackles and put fetters and put yokes of iron upon the women. Bring it out. Bring it out. And promote the egotistical man. And promote the war, the war infested, unbalanced man, and put him on a pedestal. Bring it out, and he get away with it. Bring it out, because brothers, when they was in the world, they never had a chance to experience no kind of power. So they put on a suit and they beat a man that they always thought that they should be. Bring That's that right. out. Bring right. that out. Power hungry. That's right. Bring it out. See, brothers don't like that. Read this out. Ecclesiasticus 4 and 11. And I'm still setting the mood about this woman, about this wisdom, about how important it is, how important the woman is for the Israelite nation. Read. 
Wisdom exalted her, her children. Read it again. Wisdom exalted her children. And then when you go to Titus, the second chapter, what do we tell the woman to do? To be keepers at home and teach the children. Read that again. Wisdom exalted her children. Why is it saying the same thing? Bring it out. Bring it out. Man. The scriptures say wisdom exalted her children. Read. And layeth hold of them that seek her. He that loveth her, loveth life. Read again. He that loveth her, loveth life. Read. And they that seek her, and they that seek to her early, shall be filled with joy. Shall be filled with everlasting merry and joy. They that love her. Being able to love a feminine aspect, which is wisdom. Wisdom is a woman. Read. He that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory. He that holdeth unto this woman fast shall inherit eternal life. Read. And wheresoever she entereth, the Lord will bless. They that serve her shall minister to the holy. And them that love her, the Lord don't love. He read it. Whosoever giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations. And he that attended unto her shall dwell securely. If a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her. And his generations shall hold her in possession. Proverbs 31, 19. I'm moving fast. But again, we just got a lot. Hopefully you can understand I'm setting the precedent of this. Right? And the sisters, I'm going to tell you something. They're not going to say a damn thing. Bring it out. They're going to hold it in, fam. And they're going to, what a woman does, a woman, a woman, she's just going to hold it, man. Okay. This, 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 that's her nature. She's just going to hold it in. That's right. She's going to hold it. Hold it in. But with our sisters, the single brothers cannot stop looking at our sisters as a damn piece of meat. Bring it out. Bring it out. They can't. And the married brothers are not loving their wife as they should. Not at all. And you know, the men, the men get to complain to the woman all the time, right? The men get to voice their opinion about what they don't like, what this and that, and this, 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 this and that. The men get the opportunity to do it. As soon as the woman do it, she gets shut down. That's right. Bring that out. Mm, real quiet up in this today. Bring Proverbs 31 and 19. Read this. Proverbs 3 and 19. Read. Yeah. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. See, read that again. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth. See, the earth, the nation, the Lord founded the nation by the woman. A lot of brothers don't want to hear that. Bring it out. Because wisdom is a woman. That's right. See, the earth founded, the earth founded the world. By her. Read that again. The Lord by wisdom had founded the earth. See, the Lord by wisdom. The Lord by that wisdom, by her. The Lord by wisdom founded the earth. Read. By understanding had he established the heaven. Give me Ecclesiastes 14 and 20. Bring it out. Brothers, show more respect to your wife at home, dog. You single brothers, show more respect to your show more respect to your sisters. Show more out. respect. We put the pedestal on the sisters like the sisters got to get better. The sisters ain't going to never get better until we start treating them better. That's right. If we start treating them better, maybe they will get up off their ass. Bring maybe they will start doing something. Maybe they will start getting encouraged. Bring maybe they out. will start being the woman that they supposed to be if the men won't start walking around being sorry for themselves and start being better men toward the sisters. Bring it out. Brothers don't want to do that, man. That's right. Mm-mm. All the brother going to do, man, these brothers on the internet, man, they're going to make an 18-hour class to show how much that he hate women because his mama hated him. That's Bring right. it out. Hey. Bring it out. You Negroes got to repent. Read this, Art. Ecclesiastes 14 and 20. Read. Blessed is the man that don't meditate good things and wisdom. That's what you should be having your mind on, man, is that woman, that spiritual woman. That wisdom to balance you out, bro. Read. And that reasoning of holy things by his understanding. 
He that considered her ways. He that considered the woman ways of the wisdom read. In his heart. In his mind read. Shall also have understanding in her seat. So you got to understand what wisdom is, man. It's just like meeting a real woman. You got to get in and dissect. It's the same out. thing with wisdom. You got to get in and dissect. Bring read. Go after her. Read again. Go after her. Read. As one that traces. As one that traces flesh like you. A little child. Read. And lie in wait in her Not way. always be looking for this wisdom, man, to help balance you out. A false balance is an abomination. That's right. Right. Look toward this wisdom, man, to calm you down, to mellow you out, so you can be able to operate on a high level. Read. He that prieth in at her windows shall also hearken at her doors. He that doth lodge near her house shall also fasten a pen in her walls. He shall pitch his tent nigh unto her. He shall pitch his tent, his whole mind, his whole soul nigh unto wisdom, nigh unto her. Read. And shall lodge in a lodging where good things are. He shall set his children under her shelter. And shall lodge under her branch. Keep reading. By her. By what? By her. By what? By, by her. her. Say by the woman. Read. He shall be covered from heat. And in her glory shall he dwell. Give me Jeremiah 6 and 1. Yeah. I'm getting to the point to where I can slow down a little bit. I just had to get through this first section real quick. So I'll have enough time to really break this down about brothers. They be bashing the women, man. The women come up and they and the women they have questions. They get told to just 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 don't even worry about it. Bring it out. They want to have some understanding. They just get told to don't worry about it. Bring it out. Make it easy for the other nations to come in and steal the black woman like they already did. Bring that out. How you think she got stole, fam? Bring that out. Huh? How you think she? How 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 you think? How do you think that she's the way that she is? Bring it out. Because of you. Your daddy, your granddaddy, your great granddaddy, and your great granddaddy before that. Remember, a wicked woman is given to a portion to the same exact man. Read this. Right. Jeremiah 6 and 1. Read verse 2. Verse 2. Read. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. And again, man, again, brothers need to start paying more respect to the woman. We need to stop focusing on showing her private parts and start to show her beauty. Bring it out. Bring it out. Focus less on lifting up her skirt. Focus more on her abilities. Bring it out. Teach. I've likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. Revelations 12 and 1. And this feminine aspect is all throughout the Bible. Okay? Yeah. It is all throughout the Bible. The feminine aspect of the scriptures. And the brother hear me, feminine aspect of the scriptures. Argh. You know, and start barking like a dog. Bring it out. Yes. There is a feminine aspect to the scriptures. That's why wisdom is compared to a woman. That's why Jerusalem is compared to a woman. And read this. Revelation 12 and 1. Read. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun. Clothed with that sun was that right hand side. Read. And the moon under her feet. Which is that left hand side, man. It's just balance. It's balance. It's balance. The sun and the moon. The woman. Balance. Read. And upon her head. And upon her what? And upon her head. Read. A crown of 12 stars. And she being with child. And she being forth, bring forth the, bringing forth truth. Read. Cry, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. So this is wisdom giving birth to the truth, brothers and sisters. Right. I'm going to hold that there. We got that coming at a later day. Give me Colossians 3 and 18. Right? And I can slow down a little bit. But I just wanted to, to, to do that. Because brothers don't understand that. They truly don't understand that. Right? They're very macho in this movement. Very macho. And I'm showing the brothers that a false balance 
that is an abomination, man. We got to mellow out. That's and right. what mellows us out is the feminine aspect of life. Bring it out. Right? Like how you are with your children. Right. You're not up and down, just yelling at them all the time. It, it's, it's, that, it's that compassion. It's that nurturing. It's that care that you have for your children. So, yes, bro, you can be like that. It is okay, fam. Bring it out. Bring it out. It's okay. Not in these camps, though, bro. Not in the camp. It's not allowed. Read this. Colossians 3 and 18. Read. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as, as it is fit in the Lord. And you, and you know what we tell the sisters is they got to submit to their husband. You know, and this is the thing, man. All it's saying is just for the wife to respect you. That's it. And this is and this is and this is for single brothers. I'm showing single brothers how to respect a woman, and for the married brothers as well too, because we we have essentially right. We we we're leaving nature, okay. And I and I, and I, and I want to prove to what I'm saying, so I'm gonna slow down here so we can get some understanding. Read that again. I'll read it again. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. As it is fit in the Lord. And, and you know, we, we, we constantly tell the woman that she got to submit. That's Hebrew Israel, Israelite 101. Right. Sister, come in. First, 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 first Timothy. First Corinthians. Bring it out. You, you better not say a word. Come. Then you, 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 you cover your head. You, you cook, clean, and submit. Bring it out. Read verse 18 again, though. And, and, and I want the sisters to understand this and read the Bible for yourself, man, because you can, you can, you can, you can deny your, you can deny you can deny the natural gifts that God gave you all your life, bro. You can. And 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 you can and you can let somebody the, the and, and you can let these guys continue to talk to you and about you as if that you're not made in the image of man. And you can believe it. You can accept it. Bring it out. And you can hold it in. And you can regret it for the rest of your life. That's right. Or you can just be real. Read verse 18 again. Read it again. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. You see how they say as it is fit? As it is fit? You know, sisters, they have no idea of what submitting is. No idea. Bring it out. In their head, they're thinking that submit means that I just got to do everything he's saying. I just have to basically I, I, I just got to do everything he's saying. Hus wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit. As it is fit. Bring it out. Look, man, and the truth of it is, man, some of us brothers, look, 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 we're, we're, we're not even in the condition to allow a woman to, to submit to us. Bring that out. I mean, we might be married and we might have a wife, but we're not in the position to where she can bow down to you, bro. Like she can really submit to you. you you're, you're not in the position. Hold up. Read verse 18 again. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. As it is fit in the Lord. As it is fit. Bring it out. As it is fit in the Lord. You submit as it's fit. And uh, uh, submission, uh, we're we going to get into it. Give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 2. And, 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 and again, we use this. We use this. We use this scripture. And we all know it. Right? Yeah. And we, 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 we've all had it shoving down our throat. In these camps, man, what they do is they use this scripture to basically further push 
their doctrines of men basically to tell the woman to shut the hell up. Bring it out. I mean, essentially. That's right. I mean, that's 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 pretty much what it is. The, 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 the man is above the woman, so the woman don't know nothing. Bring it out. God don't deal with women. Bring it out. Because because of us doing this. Read this. First Corinthians eleven and two. Read. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things. And keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. And these ordinances are going into the ordinances that was going on in the church of Corinth, right? These are not essentially the law, statutes, commandments of God. I mean, they are. But if you go through the first 10 chapters, there was many things that was going on. And Paul was giving ordinances to the church of Corinth. You know, like 1 Corinthians 5, you know, with uh, the, the they're, you know, sharing each other's wives and stuff and you know the the, the 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 woman in her lust, and when a woman and a man divorced, there was certain there were certain ordinances that you have to establish in the people. Which sometimes you might not have a law that says like thou shalt do that. So this is what it's going into the ordinances that Paul delivered the church of Corinth. Read, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. And then brother, stop there. We stop. And we use that to degrade the woman. And that's facts. That's right. We we use that to usurp authority over the woman. Bring it out. But the man's authority over the woman is God given. You don't out. gotta assert it. But we we but that but but the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. In the head of Christ is God. And then like you'll see pictures on the internet, right? They'll have like a smoke screen is God. And then they'll have like a black man with a jerry curl is Jesus. Bring and then out. like they'll have like another man beneath it. And then they'll have a woman and they'll have a child. Bring it out. And we use that to degrade women. Bring it out. But we never keep reading the rest of that. Bring it out. And I'm going to show you, brothers. Give me Colossians 3 and 18 again. These are the things that we must get out of, brothers. We got to stop doing that, man. What's the point of building a nation? You got nothing but men, man. Bring it out. Bring it out. Nothing but bruise. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. They're going to be barking all day at each other. Bring that out. Brother needs to get home, man. His sister got to ease his mind, dog. He tripping. Give me, right. give me Colossians 3 and 18. Read this. Colossians 3 and 18. Read. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. And for a woman to submit to a man, she has to do it willingly. And you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and, and brothers, bro, your wife, she's not going to submit to you just because the precepts say it. Bring it out. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Bro. She is not going to submit to you just because the precept says it. Bring it out. No. For a woman to submit to a man is the same thing as this. Give me Deuteronomy 23, 21. And you know, brothers, man, man, they be they be about this law, right? This law. Man. You know, again, be baptized again, brother. And, 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 I, and, I, and I want you to understand what submission is, brother. You got to find submission in the old covenant to know the aspects of it. If you want a, a, for a woman to submit to a man, it has to be this. Read this. Deuteronomy 23 and 21. Read. When thou shalt vow a vow unto the Lord thy God, thou shalt not slack to pay it. For the Lord thy God will surely require it of thee. And it would be sin in thee. Keep reading. But if thou shalt forbear to vow, it shall be no sin in thee. So when you're vowing, a vow and a vow, be slack to pay it. And 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 and, and again, man, you know, I, I, I keep showing brothers what sin is, right? Deuteronomy 23, 21 it says, When thou vow a vow unto the Lord, thou shalt not be slack to pay it. For God, for thy God was surely required of thee. And it would be sin if you don't do it. A sin. It's a, it's a it's a much bigger evolution than essentially you know you know read that which is gone out of thy lips that which is gone out of thy lips read thou shalt keep and perform thou shalt keep and perform brothers have to know what the concept of this is bowing a vow keeping your vow Bring it out. this that that is equivalent to what read. 
Even at free will off. What is it equivalent to? Even at free will off. What is it equivalent to? Even at free will off. That's a free will offering, man. In order for her to submit to you, it's the same thing as a free will offering. She got to do it willfully. That's right. You can't force her to do that, bro. That's right. But that's what brothers do. They force it. And the means and the mechanisms and the manipulation that brothers use to get a female to submit to them is unbelievable. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! That's right. Bring it out. My God. My goodness. The scriptures say even a free will offering. That's what this is. It's a free will offering. Read. According as thou hast vowed unto the Lord thy God, which thou hast promised with thy mouth. Give me Psalms 119, 105. Let's get more of this free will offering. Vow and a vow. You have to do that freely, willfully. A free will offering. That means that you got to do it freely. That's right. Psalms 119, 105, read this. Psalm 119, 105. Read. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it. That will I keep. Thy judge, thy righteous judgment. Keep reading. And I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Except I beseech thee the free will offerings of my mouth. O Lord. And teach me thy judgment. Give me Colossians 3 and 18 again. See, the sisters, you know, they're not going to say nothing, man. They're just going to ride with it. You know, they're going to be miserable. You know, they're going to be miserable. And they're told to accept them, accept them being miserable. They're, they're being told and that's what they have to accept. That's the vibe that they get. That's the narrative that these camps push. Bring it out. It's just man, the woman, she just got to, she, she's supposed to submit. She's coming to congregation. She better not say a word. And if she got any questions, you know, you know, hey, you know, you ain't got to worry about it. That damages the community. Read this up. Uh, Colossians 3 and 18. Read. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. As it is fit in the Lord. Submit as it fit. Put that on the shirt. That's Submit right. as it fit. Bring it, Bring it out. out. As it fit. In your God. Submit as it fit. Give me Exodus 22, 16. Submit as it fit. Okay? Because what some of these brothers will do, man, they'll have you out here loosey-goosey, bro. Bring it out. They'll, they'll have you out here, man, man, man. And you know, a lot of these doctrines, man, these sisters don't agree with it, bro. That's right. Yeah, and when the sisters out. don't agree with it, we tell the sisters that you're not in the spirit. That's right. Bring it out. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. Bring it out. Understand that wisdom is embodied spiritually as a woman. Read this. Exodus 22 and 16. Read. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed and lie with her, he shall surely endow her to be his wife. So you know, man, if, if you if you if you want a woman to submit to you, don't you gotta prove her first? Right. You think she's gonna do it because of the precept? Bring it out. Bring it out. <laughs> I mean, what 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 is this? You know, I had pulled up a couple class, clap a couple classes ago, man, by Martin Luther King, man. Martin Luther King, he had did an interview. I think it was like on CNN, right, or whatever that it was. And Martin Luther King got up there and he started singing a different tune. That's right. His tune was real different. And Martin Luther King said, he said, man, you know, at first, man, the civil rights movement, you know, it was a, it was, it, it was a lot of, you know, fantasism, and and, and, and it was a lot of. Uh, you know, you know, you know, fantasy, but he was like, now it's time to start, you know, to bring a little bit of realism to it, like to start actually getting real. You know what I'm saying? The people get pumped up at first, right? They get pumped up, but then, you know, you got to hit them with the truth. You got to get them exactly what the truth is. So, man, if you want a woman to submit to you, bro, you got to entice her first. That's right. You got to prove her first. Give me Ecclesiastes 6 and 7. Core precepts, core understanding. And you can use them, brothers, if you know how to, man. But again, 
The scriptures say, wives, submit yourselves to your husbands as it fit in the Lord. And I got a bunch of scenarios, man, that we have women submitting to men that they're not fit to being submitted to. Bring that out. Brother need more time. That's right. He need more time before you submit. And this is just the truth of the matter. But we ignore it. Read this up. Ecclesiastes 6 and 7. Read. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. Before you sisters, man, before you go out and try to get a husband, man, prove these Negroes, man. That's right. Man. Please. That's right. Bring it out. Before you find you somewhere trapped. That's Bring right. it out. Can't get out. That's right. You better know what you're doing. And you know better. But the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eye and the pride of life can have you trapped for the rest of your life. That's right. Sisters so around this month taking this as a game. Read. And be not hasty to credit him. Don't be hasty to credit these guys, man. Bring it out. Make sure you know who you're dealing with. Make sure you know what you're dealing with. That's right. Right. Because this man could be a nutcase. That's right. Can be. Read. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Read again. For yeah. some man is a friend for his own occasion. Read again. For some man is a friend for his own occasion. Because you could be with a man that got you stuck right there just so you can't be with nobody. You can't do nothing by yourself. He going to hold you there in that prison just like a dog in a backyard. Bring it out. Backs. Bring it out. Bring it out. Some man is a husband for his own occasion. Bring it out. Some sister is a wife for her own occasion. Bring it out. Read. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. Give me Colossians 3 and 18 again. Bring it out. Come on, man. You brothers, stop down in these sisters, man. It's some wicked ass sisters out here, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Come on, bro. Like, I mean, you, you know, the truth is the truth, man. But, bro, if the sisters is coming into the school, we should be exhorting them to be daughters of Sarah. That's right. Right? right. right. Let's leave all that other stuff alone, man. These guys, especially the guys on the internet, I don't know what's going on with them. They have a pure hatred for women. Bring it out. A pure hatred. I'm giving the sisters an opportunity, man. I'm trying to get them to stand up and walk as the princesses that they are on the planet. Read this. Colossians 3 and 18. Read. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Read again. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Read. As it is fit in the Lord. And what if your husband not fit? Bring it out. What is the woman supposed to do if she with the man and the man not fit? Bring it out. Where's her voice? Where's her reasoning? Where's her avenue? What 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 is she supposed to do? Bring it out. But she constantly getting told by her husband that she gotta submit. But this nigga ain't even fit. He ain't, he ain't even meant to. He ain't even fit to submit. Bring it out. What's she supposed to do? I'm going to tell you what she's going to choose to do. She's going to choose to suffer. That's, that's what she's going to choose to do. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands as it is fit in the Lord. Read. Husbands, love your wives. Read again. Husbands, love your wives. Read again. Husbands, love, love your wives. wives. Yeah, man, how come these camps don't teach that? Bring it it's always about how the woman need to do something. She need to do this. She better submit. She better do this. She better be perfect. But then the men, bro, they just get to do whatever they want to do, man. No accountability for their actions. Bring it out. None. And they and they and they and they and, and they misuse and, 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 and they and they and they teaching doctors of devils to solidify that, man. They'll solidify it. Get out. They'll put a stamp on it. And the brothers in their camps, they're gonna go around and they're gonna agree with it. Bring it That's out. Right. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. We'll walk around. We'll tell the sister, you better submit. Read. Husbands, love your wife. We'll go around and we'll tell the sister all day, you better bow down and you better submit to your husband. Read. 
and be not bitter against them. But then the bruise man, they get in the house, man, they cry like the female dog. They're bitter as hell against a girl. Bring that bitter. Up. Just bitter. Bring that up. Soon as she tell you the truth one time, ah, find me that video, man, when they was in that intervention and, and uh, the old man started crying. Let me show you how these yeah, ox yeah. man be acting, man, when they when they be in the house, man, and they girl doing her telling the truth. They get ah, start Bring crying and stuff. They they, they 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 turn into an enemy against they girl. They girl can't tell them nothing, man, and they in the house, man, acting like a female, being bitter toward they hug, toward they wife, Bring it up. being bitter. See, but the sister, she not going to bring it up in counseling, though. She going to protect him, man. Man, she going to protect him, bro. She is not going to expose this man. She going gonna, she gonna to give you a little bit of truth, but she not really going to really try to help the situation. That's what a woman does. She, at the end of the day, she's still going to care for the man. She's still going to be there for the man. But the brother in the house, man, bitter as hell against his wife. Bring it out. Bitter. Bitter. And we're going to go into this bitter, too, being bitter against your wife, man. You know, when a man is in a household, he's bitter against his wife. You know, brothers, 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 we get away with in the truth, man, being verbal abusive to these women. Bring it out. Verbal abuse. Emotional abuse. Uh, uh. And, you know, brothers, in the truth, you know, one thing that I do command for brothers is, you know, hey, brothers are not, you know, for the majority of part, they're not, you know, physically putting hands on women. And that's a good thing that we learn in the truth con, bro. But you can still emotionally abuse that girl. You can still you, you can still mentally abuse that girl. You can psychologically abuse her. There's different ways that you can do that, man. Different ways. And these brothers are not being held accountable for that. Not at all. Read verse 19 again. I'll read it again. Husbands. Love your wife. See, the scriptures is telling us, man, we got to love our wife. Read. And be not bitter against them. Give me this video, man. Let me let me see. See, because this is the thing, man, that, you know, in, in the truth, man, we got all these doctrines about these women, how these women is not this and how the women about that. What about the Negroes in the house, man? They get bitter with they get bitter with their wife and they start acting like this. Play the video. What about that? What about that? Bring it out. They in the house just like this. Bring it out. What about that? Babe, we got 15, we got 15 garbage bags in the house. The house is smelling like trash. The house is smelling like the house is smelling like the sheep pen. Baby, please come take out the trash. Ah! Baby, my car. I ain't had no gas. I need some new tires. My inspection sticking is off. Baby, please come do this for me. Ah! Bitter as hell, man. Bitter. And these be the main ones. These guys, man, be grabbing these microphones. Big Centennial, big Hebrew on the Sabbath day. Can't do no wrong. Can't do it. Don't even know how to love a woman. Bring it out. But constantly abusing her. But constantly putting her down. But constantly putting the scriptures against her. Tell her how she is. Never tell her how beautiful she is. Tell her how much that we need her. Tell her how much that we love her. Tell her how much that we appreciate her. Tell her how much that we can't do nothing without her. Bring it out. Hell nah, bro. Hell nah. Bring it Hell out. nah. No, sir. Not allowed in the Hebrew Israelite community. That is not allowed. Not one bit. That's, right. That's not allowed. Because the Lord is a man of war. All right. Bring it out. It's about war. Bring it out. Boy. Boy. Some of us, man, we need reality check around this mud, dog. That's right. Real talk. Bring it out. Done came into the truth and turned into and just just turned into a zombie. Read verse nineteen again, Colossians three and nineteen. Read again, husbands, love your wives. Read again, husbands, love your wives. Read again, husbands, love your wives. How many times, man, you heard that? I you always been told what she's supposed to do. What about you? Bring that out. Love your wife, man. Read. And be not bitter against them. You ever seen, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, and these brothers, when they wife telling the truth, they can't handle it, man. Bring it out. Bring it out. They can't handle it. She tell him the truth, he loses his mind. That's right. Get violent. And get angry. And, 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 and just blow up. 
Cause he realizes, bro, that he really ain't the man he thought that he is. That, that's that, that that's what'll make a man do it. When a man gotta look in the mirror, that's how he act. Bring that up. Let's get more on this. Give me Ecclesiasticus nine and one. Hold that video though. Give me Ecclesiasticus nine and one. I might not be able to pull the video. It's it's okay if I if I don't, but just I'll just hold that for me, all right? Give me Ecclesiasticus nine and one. In the scriptures say, love your wife. And don't be bitter against a woman. You love your sister for you single brothers. And don't be bitter against them just because you got rejected the first time. Bring it out. Brothers go to a single sister, get rejected. Now he mad and I got a grudge on her. Come with some better game than that then next time. Read this, Art. Bring it out. Ecclesiasticus. Nine and one. Read. Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom. Read again. Be not jealous over the wife of thy bosom. Read again. Be, Be not, not jealous, jealous over, over the wife of thy bosom. Show some respect, man, to these women. Bring it out. Show some respect, man. Show some respect. Why do you think in the Christianity church, in the Muslim mosque, in the Islamic faith, in the Hebrew Israelite faith, why you think it's more women than men in these congregations? Bring it out. Why you think? Huh? Bring it out. Why is a woman more susceptible to listen to the scriptures than a man is? That's right. Bring it Why out. is a woman more susceptible to find God than a man is? Bring it out. Boy. You Negroes out here tripping, bro. Y'all out here tripping. That's right. Be not jealous over the wife of your bosom. Read. And teach her not an evil lesson against thyself. And that's what brothers do, man. They be at war with their girl in their own house, man. Hating on their girl. At war with their girl in their own house. They just at war with each other, man. Bring it out. You hateful, so you making her be hateful. Brother sad, man. Bring it out. Sad. And he go to the street corner, bro. He get that mic. He turn into God himself. Bring it out. Sister, I can't believe you. Bring it out. How could you walk out that house like that? Bring it out. Turn it to the master edifier to the sisters. You know how these brothers get with the microphone when the sisters come up? Bring it out. Woo! Get the magical with his words. You know what I'm saying? Sister, sister, let me tell you something. Sister, you see that? Sister. Neglecting his own girl at the house. Neglecting her, bro. Neglecting her. Set. And these are the main brothers that's out teaching. Bring it out. These are the main ones that's out teaching God word. That's right. It's the main ones. See that wife? Let me tell you something about that woman though. She the weaker vessel for a reason. That's right. She the weaker vessel for a reason. Give me first Corinthians eleven and three. Let's go back to it. Bring it out. You know, and again, in 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 and we just we just shove it down the woman's throat, man, and she better get right, bro. But the woman is a direct reflection of a man. That's right. Direct reflection. Direct reflection of the man. And brothers at war with their own wife. Read this. First Corinthians 11 and 3. Read. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of every man and the head of every woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. Give me Ephesians 4 and 13. Bring it up. Every man praying or prophesying with his head covered, his head covered, dishonoring his head. What 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 let's 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 get some understanding on this, please. Bring it up. Let's get some understanding on this. Because every time the brother pull out his own Bible to read his Bible at his own house in his own thing, he got his do rag on. He take his whole do rag off to read his own Bible. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. No law in the Torah that says that. Not one. Not one. Read this up. Ephesians 4 and 13. Read. Till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. Read verse 15. 
Verse 18. Read. But speaking the truth in love. See, we speak the truth in love. Read. May grow up into him. All in all things. Which may grow up unto him in all things. Read. Which is the head. Even Christ. Read again. Which is the head. Even Christ. Read again. Which is the head. Even Christ. Give me 1 Corinthians 1 and 9. If a man pray or prophesy with his head covered, he dishonoreth his head. Come on, man. I thought this was precept upon precept. That's right. And you know I'm not you know I'm not going I'm not I'm not I'm I'm not going to deal with this right now you know what I'm saying uh um because you know it's just not matter of fact I'm going to drop that don't 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 even worry about that give me give me give me give me 1 Corinthians 11 and 3 I'll deal with this another time yeah don't worry it's coming because that question is still in the open today. That's right. It has not been sealed. Right. It has not been answered. It, a class has not been has not came out on that. That's right. That's right. That's right. But I'm gonna tell you, man. Let me show you. Yes, sir. I got that mug right here. You feel that? Yeah. See all that? I got that mug. And you know, I respect Moses, man. I got, I got, I got, I got much respect for Moses because I understand why Moses put that veil over his face, man. I do, I really do, I really do. I, 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 I truly understand. But the veil has been split. Read this out. Give me Mark one and ten. You got that? Say Mark one and ten. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lost my track of thought. First Corinthians eleven and three. First Corinthians eleven and three. Again. We use this scripture to downgrade women. That's right. We use it to downgrade women. And that is a fact. Hold up. Read, 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 read verse 4 again. 1 Corinthians 11 and 4. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. He read him. But every woman that prayeth or prophesied, with her head uncovered, dishonored her head, for that is even all one as she were shaven. For if the woman be not covered, let her be also shorn. But if it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. Give me, a, I just want to pull a precept real quick. Give me Leviticus 10. Give me Leviticus 10 on this. And you know, give me Leviticus 10. Start at verse. Start at verse 6. I just wanna just wanna bring this out. Again, we're gonna cover this, bro. I got you. But it's not what the class is about, but I want to pull the scripture. Read this. Leviticus 10 and 6. Read. And Moses said unto Aaron and unto Eleazar. And unto Ithamar, his sons. His sons, read. Uncover not your head. Read again. Uncover not your head. Read again. Uncover not your head. He told them, don't uncover your head. Uncover it not. Keep it covered. You read in 2 Samuel how David went up into the tabernacle with his head covered and prayed to his God. Read. Neither in your clothes, yes, lest ye die, and lest wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, be well the burning which the Lord had given. Give me First Corinthians eleven and six. Let's go back. It's ready, man. I promise you, it's ready. It's ready. Been ready for a minute, but it's ready. And you know, hey, you know, man, you know, you know. Again, First Corinthians eleven and seven. Read that. First Corinthians eleven and seven. Read that. First Corinthians eleven and seven. Read. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. That's why a man should not cover his head. And you and, and, and again, I'll cover it, but it's because he the image of God. 
that's that's not come on man come on brothers learn to read brothers learn to read learn to read it say he is the image in the glory of God but the man but the woman is the glory of the man read for the man is not of the woman but the man is not of the woman read but the woman of the man but the woman comes of the man read neither was the man created for the woman neither was man created for a woman read but the woman for the man but the woman is for the man read for this cause of the woman to have power on her head because of the angel. Hold up, read that again. For this cause of the woman to have power. To have what? To have power. To have what? To have power. Read on her head because of the angel. Keep reading though. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. So you know we read First Corinthians eleven and three, right? But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Read verse 11. Nevertheless. And then we, 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 we are just seven scriptures after that. We are seven scriptures after that. Read. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. Well, uh, read that again. Neither is the man without the woman. Neither is the man without the woman. Read. Neither the woman without the man. Neither the woman without the man. Read. In the Lord. So you got to understand, man, you know, in the relationship. It is 100 from the woman and 100 from the man. It is a balance, bro. It's a balance. The man has the power and authority. Again, like I gave an example earlier. If mama come in the house and she tell everybody to come in here and clean, and, 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 and clean the kitchen, everybody, they're going to be moping. Man, mama, I ain't gonna do this, man. La, 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 la. But when dad comes in the house, everybody get down here and clean the kitchen. They turn, they put their track shoes on to get into the kitchen. It's a natural authoritative of the man ruling all creatures on the earth. We understand this. But brothers and sisters, you cannot degrade the woman, bro, because she is equal to you. Bring it out. She equal to you. Just as much as we need her, it's the same amount as we need you. Just as much as we need you, it's the same amount as we need her. Bring it out. They don't believe me. See, give me, give me, give me, give me, read verse 11 again, read it again. Nevertheless, neither is the man without the woman. Neither is the man without. Neither is the man independent of the woman. Read. Neither the woman without the man. Neither is the woman independent without the man. Read. In the Lord. And that's the most important thing, man, is, bro, if you're not living in Christ, you're doomed. You're doomed. you got to live in Christ, in the Lord. Read. For as the woman is of the man. Hold on, read that again. For as the woman is of the man. Just like our sisters is of our brothers. Read. Even so is the man also by the woman. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Read that again. Even so is the man also by the woman. But all things of God. Give me Mark, give me Mark 10 and 1. And that's the point that we missing in the truth. We are missing that point right there. Bring it out. We missing that. Bring it out. We refuse to deal with it. We refuse to do we that is what we are missing. Brothers are so power hungry of power that you already got, bro. Bring it out. You are naturally ordained with the authority over the world. You're naturally ordained with the authority of the woman. You don't got to force it, Ock. Bring it out. And some of us, bro, we, we, we usurp our authority over the woman by degrading her. By putting her down, telling her that she's not nothing, telling her that she can't understand nothing, telling her that she's not on the level that you are. Right. You could be asleep, man. Bring it out. Right. A sister could hit you with some heat. Real talk. She can hit you with the shoddy. Bring it out. Let's 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 let's, let's, let's get some understanding. Read 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 Mark ten and two of, of of this concept. But brothers, we are missing in the truth. Unbalanced, unbalanced. We're missing this in the truth. And brothers, you gotta repent of this. Read this. Mark 10 and 2. Read. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? 
Tempting him. And then in the truth, man, how it is is the brother get every excuse essentially not to deal with his wife and leave his wife, but the woman don't have that same kind of opportunity to leave her husband. Bring it out. She don't got that power. Is a woman supposed to stay with a mentally abusive man? With a spiritually abusive man? With a mentally abusive man? Is she supposed to stay with that? Is she supposed to submit to somebody that does not encourage her? Does not give her that comfort? Does not give her that stability? Does not give her that assurance? Does not give her that love that she needs from a man. Is she supposed to stay? See, when the man does it, the woman has no voice. But let the sister be in there, not cooking, not cleaning. You know, she in there with an attitude. You know, she's in there, you know, not doing what she's supposed to do. Brothers got that bill of divorce right there, ready to sign it. They ready to sign that thing, right? They got the pen to the paper, ready to sign it. Because they're not valuing they want. They don't value the woman. And that's going to be our detriment, man. If we keep that up, that's going to be our detriment. I promise you that it will. Read verse 3. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? Read that again. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? I tell people all the time, the Lord gave Moses authority and power and statutes and commandments. And we don't want to hear it. It's a difference. It is a difference. Keep reading. And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorce and to put her away. Keep reading. And Yahweh answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. Who wrote that precept? He wrote you this precept. Who wrote that precept? He wrote you this precept. Brothers got to start reading their Bible, man. Read the book, bro. Just read the book. I promise you, you'll see the light of Christ. Read. But from the beginning of creation, God made the male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother. For a man shall leave his father and his mother, read. And cleave to his wife. And be what? And cleave to his wife. Who, who know what that word cleave mean? Cleave. Cleave mean to be joined. To be joined. To be joined. Read. And they twain shall be one flesh. See, that's the important thing, man. Them two is one flesh. Bring it out. See that? Them two is one flesh. It's the sun and the moon coming together. Bring it out. One flesh. The man is of the woman. The woman is of the man. It is 100, 100. But how these doctors are pushed by these cats is that the woman, she, 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 she is, you know, she's, she's lower on the totem pole. Bring it out. Essentially, she's the weaker vessel. But when you marry a woman, you are one flesh. That's right. One flesh. One flesh. That's right. One flesh. Bring it out. We missing that. Big time. Genesis 2 and 21. One flesh. One flesh. And you brothers, man, sit back and think about how you doing your girl wrong at home, man. Think about how bad you doing her. You putting her standards. All the way to the moon, and all you gotta do is pay the bills. Bring it out. Boy. <laughs> These females do leave brothers now. Understand that? They do do that. That's right. They do do that. And it's not gonna be a warning. It's not gonna be any signs. Understand, man, when you in your own house and you with your girl, you are one flesh. Read verse 23, y'all. Genesis 2 and 23. Read. And Adam said, 
This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And you know, man, we 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 still in La La Land. We think a man fell asleep. God came out the sky, took one of his ribs and made a whole woman. Bring it out, bro. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. This is one flesh. Read. Therefore, shall a man leave his father and his mother? Shall a man leave father and mother? Read. And shall cleave unto his wife. And be one flesh with his wife. Read. And they shall be one flesh. Read again. And they shall be one flesh. Read again. And, and they, they shall, shall be one flesh. flesh. One flesh. One flesh. One. One flesh. Who? So who's over who? If it's one flesh, who's over who? Bring it out, if it's one flesh, if it's one body, if it's one spirit, who's over who? Bring it out. Make you think. Ephesians 5 and 25. You know, these brothers are effeminate. That's right. Very emotional. Bring it out. And they justify it by pulling scriptures. Can you believe that? They justify it by pulling the scripture. But then when it's they turn, man, nah. mm. see the men need a reality check, man. We're constantly giving the sisters reality check. It's time for us, man. We got to step our game up. We are not walking as ambassadors of the Most High and the Son, and you don't know how to treat a woman. Uplift her. It, 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 look, we got a long way to go. Long way to go. Long way to go, brothers. Learn how to put respect on your sisters. Read this, Ark. Ephesians 5 and 25. Read. Husbands, love your wives. Read again. Husbands, love your wives. Read again. Husbands, love your wives. See, that's difficult, man. That means that it's accountability to you, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you know, you know, you, you, if you, I'm, I'm gonna just be real with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? After about a year or two of you paying them bills, that don't matter no, that don't matter no more, man. It don't matter no more. Right. After about a year or two, you pay, paying bills, it, 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 that that go out the window. It's time for something else. That's right. Get out. See the sister, she's not going to admit it, and she's not going to say it, but that's how they are. So to avoid that, what you gotta do up? Husbands, love your wife. Read again. Husbands, love your wife. Read again. Husbands, love, love your wife. So I take accountability to these brothers, man. Tell these brothers to step up in their own house. Read. Even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. He reading. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. Not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Read that again. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Read that again. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. Now think about the standard that these sisters get put on, man. Think about this standard now. Think about the standard. Okay? The woman is is and these are in today's time right you're going to find if you find a hundred a hundred women only 10 of them don't have a job only 10 of them are actually housewives the other 90 women they work yeah. in today's time in today's time that's right only 10 percent of women don't work right and when i mean work i mean having an actual captivity job a lot of women that got their own businesses and stuff and that is work too but normally they be at home if they got their own business, right? Now the woman, she's expected to work. She gonna get off of work by, she gonna get home by 5 p.m., uh, 6 p.m. Bring it out. Right. She's expected to take care of the household chores. She's expected to cook, to clean the kitchen, the living room, Bring it out. the house, your clothes, your dirty clothes, her dirty clothes, the children dirty clothes. That's right. All the beds in the house, change the bed sheets. Right? She must be ready for romance uh, on go. Bring it out. 
Bring it out. On site. Bring it out. She must be ready. On site. Okay. She, 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 she must wash everything. Wash the dishes. Make sure the dust is up. Right? And she must take care of the children. She got to change the diaper. Feed the baby. That's right. Breastfeed the baby. Be up with the baby at night. Can you do that, bro? Let's bring, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. I'm just asking that. That's just, that's 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 just a simple question. Can you do that? At the level that you expect her to do it. Can you do it? Bring it out. But as soon as she tell you to take out that trash, give me the video. Give me the video. Give me the video. Oh, this on the sister. Oh, oh, she me, me, mentally abused, verbally abused. She, she, she. But, but, take out the trash, baby. Cut, 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 the, cut the grass, baby. Cut the grass. I need new tires, baby. Please. That's it, boy. Bring it out. <laughs> that's the standard for a Hebrew Israelite man. That's right. Man, that is the standard. That's sad. Give me first Peter three and seven. I think it's sad. And then and we just roll with it, 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 roll with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable, man. Please show more respect to our women. We need our women. Brother, show respect to them, man. Right. Show some respect. That's right. The same level of accountability that you put her on the pedestal that she needs to be the superwoman, you need to be superman. Right. Read this article. First, Peter 3 and 7. Read. Likewise, ye husbands. Well with them according to knowledge. Don't get emotional and being bitter, man, with your girl. When you single brothers, you're courting a sister. Deal with the sister with knowledge, man. Don't get emotional because she told you that you a liar and you a liar for real. Bring it out. Don't get emotional, fam. Bring it out. Deal with it according to knowledge. Bring it out. Deal with it according to knowledge. Read. Giving honor unto the wife. Read again. 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 Giving honor unto the wife. So, 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 so the scriptures is telling us to exhort women. Exhort them. Lift them up. Brothers, man. Brothers, bro. Man. That, that's that's <laughs> brothers are scared to do that. They got too much pride of life to honor their wife, right. to honor her, bro. Bring it out to respect her, bro. Honor her, fam. She don't gotta be there with you, bro. That's right. Bring it out. Bring it out. I'm say that again. She does not have to be there with you. Put some respect on it. Bring it out. Give me the bird, man, man. Give me the bird, man. <laughs> Put some real respect on that woman. And for you single brothers, man, give respect. Be, uh, honor your sister. That You a single brother, bro, that could be your potential wife. Bring it out. Show some respect. Yeah. Show some honor. Show some dignity to the woman. Give it honor to the wife. Read. As unto the weaker vessel. And you know the woman is the weaker vessel again. The man does have authority over the man and uh, over the woman and the children. That is a God given natural, that, that is in nature. Okay? So I'm not going against that. What I'm saying is, brothers, it's forcing it. Bring it out. By the doctrines of devils. That's right. Bring it out. They forcing it. Teach. Giving honor unto the wife. Unto the weaker vessel. We know she the weaker vessel. Read. As being heirs together of the grace of life. That your prayers be not hindered. Give me 2 Corinthians 13 and 5. 2 
See, you want that woman to be an exceptional woman. You want that woman to perform at the highest standard. You cannot degrade her, man. You got to look in that mirror. You got to look at yourself. Are you even a man that she's supposed to submit to? Are you even a man that she's supposed to honor? Are you the man that she's supposed to even call Lord? Are you even that man in the mirror? Bring it out. Huh? You put on your suit you think you is. You know a couple of scriptures you think you is. But are you the man at home that she can bow down to? Are you the man at home that she can submit to? I'm telling you, man, a woman not going to submit just because you tell her to. Bring a woman, up. she submits when she feels secure to submit. Bring it out. That's when she submits. That's when she bows down, when she feels secure. Brothers, brothers join the Hebrew Israelite camp. They learn about the 18 wife scripture and they just go crazy. Read this up. Break it out. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Read. Examine yourself. Read again. Examine yourself. Read again. Examine, examine yourself. yourself. Some of these ox men need to go home and examine themselves, man. Some of us, we hate our mama. Break it out. Some of us grew up with our granny. We hate our granny. So the mental image that we have of a woman is negative. Break it out. And, 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 the, and the way that we treat the woman is the way that we treat our mothers. And the way that we treat the woman is the way that we treated all these other hoes that we was dealing with in our, in, in our lives. Bring it out. See, you can't forget about that, bro. If you feel me, don't forget that. And we treat the women the exact same way. When you repent, you start to understand the value of the woman. Read. Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Read again. Prove your own selves. Read. Know ye not your own selves? How that your house of Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. Give me Philippians 2 and 12. Again, bro. I'm trying to get the brothers to understand, man, our idea, man, about how we treat these sisters, bro. It's unbelievable, man. Bring it out. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. And these sisters feel trapped in the truth. You can see it all over their face. That's right. They ain't going to say nothing. It's going to take somebody real that can see. They can see what's going on. And I'm not saying everybody, bros. Don't twist my words, man. You get what I'm doing. Read this out. Philippians 2 and 12. Read. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation. Read again. Work out your own salvation. Read again. Work, Work out, out your, your own, own salvation. salvation. Read. Read. And Give me Ephesians 4 and 17. Bring it you want that woman to change? You want that woman to be the woman that she's supposed to be? You have to be the man that you're supposed to be. That's and if right. you're the man that you're supposed to be, and that woman is not being the woman that she's supposed to be, then we got a different subject now. Bring it out. We're talking about something different now. But these brothers, they putting these standing on these women and these guys, they not even a, they not even three eighths. They not even an eighth of what they inquire their wife to be. They not even an eighth of that in their house. Bring it out. They not even an eighth. When they get called out on it, man, man, they get him up. I see, man. We need to we need to make a uh, what's the name of that? Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? We need to make a meme of that. That is serious. But that's how brothers in the truth be acting. Read this up. Ephesians four and seventeen. Jump down to verse twenty two. Verse 22. Read. Then ye put off concerning the former conversation. The old man. See, we got to learn how to put off that old man, brothers. That's right. How weak is that to attack a woman? That's right. How weak is that to verbally abuse a woman? How weak is that Bring it out. to mentally manipulate her? How weak is that? Sickening. Bring it out. And brothers are allowed in the truth to get away with it. Read. Which is corrupt. Which is what? Which is corrupt. Which is what? Which, Which is, is corrupt. corrupt. You know, some of the brothers think since they come in the camps, man, they put on a suit that they still not corrupt. Read. According to the deceitful lust. According to the deceitful lust. Keep reading. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. And that ye put on the new man. Read again. And that ye put on the new man. You know, man, a lot of the times in the truth, man, you know, the sisters, they're not going to say nothing, man. But the brothers, they'll come into the truth and they'll change, man, for like two months. They'll really go into a different vibe. They'll really start changing. But then three months, four months, five months, one year, two years, they go right back to turn into that same man. Bring it up. 
as he was. His old ways, his old habits, the things that he used to do, his sister, you should have been gone two years ago, but you stayed. Now he came into the truth. And he changed for a little bit. He a godly man now. Three months later, you start seeing the same things that you used to see in him. Bring it out. The same characteristics. Bring it out. The same patterns of thinking. The same behaviors. Because these brothers, they want their wife to turn into a new wife, but they want to stay the old man. Bring it out. Woo! And get upset when she's not the new woman. But she can't get upset that he's still the old man. Bring it out. Bring it out. She can't say nothing. So she's going to sit back and she's going to hold it. And she's going to hold it again. And she's going to hold it some more until she explodes. Read. And that you put on the new man. And that's what we got to do. Ox, we got to put on that new man. Right. Look at your sister with love. Look at your sister with reverence. Look at your sister with beauty. Look at your sister as honor. That's the same way she should look at us. Read. Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Give me Ecclesiasticus 10 and 1. Matter of fact, Ephesians 5 and 28. In these brothers, man, with these doctrines, man, they call us sister B's and H's and Mom, what is this? And blasting them and selling, degrading them and talking about them. They dirty, they, they nasty, they wicked, and uh, this, this, and that. And these are supposed to be the prophets of God. Read this. Ephesians 5 and 28. Read. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. You're supposed to love your neighbor as you love yourself. That's right. That means your sister. Right. That means your wife. That's right. That means your brother. That's right. That means your children. That's right. You love your neighbor as you love yourself. Read. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Read again. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Read again. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Give me this video up. Start at. I ain't got no time, man. I ain't got no time. Uh. Play the video. See, this is the thing. And this is why, you know, the brothers, they get a they 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 get a pass, man. They get a pass. See, you 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 love he that loveth his wife loved himself. This is what's going on all throughout the Hebrew Israelite community, right here. These type of men. Play the video. Today I want to discuss the verbally abusive man. That, that is hiding, hiding in plain sight. Pause it. All and there's some language in here, man. Just bear with the language and let's keep going. Go ahead. For the internet and in many women's relationships, the ladies don't realize, though, that that's what's going on. I'm here to provide you with an alert. Now, there's, you know, of course, there's no way to know the specifics of each and every man. I'm not going to even attempt to do that. I'm giving you some highlights, some overviews. And to kind of alert you to what kind of dramas that a woman may re may experience because the man that you're with or the man that you're interacting with online is really angry at some other woman, but he takes it out on any female he comes across. Most psychologists feel that, especially when you deal with a, a relatively young man, 30 years of age or under, that the person that they're really angry at is their mother. And uh, this is a standard psychological analysis. It's nothing unique, and it's nothing I made up. So, um, you know, ladies, you're interacting with some guy like that, and he's just coming across as pissed at the world, every single female in it. You got to look at his relationship with his mother and what she did or did not do to or with him while he was growing up. So we really don't know why he is the way that he is. All we know is that this deep-seated angry anger that thousands of, especially black men, because that's what we black African-American women primarily interact with, is African-American men. Their anger is insidious. They rant, they rave, they criticize and condemn everything there is to condemn or analyze or criticize about black women. Why do they do this? 
Their conversation is designed strictly to chip away at women's self-confidence and self-esteem so that the female listening to this garbage will feel as low and negative about themselves as he does about himself. That is the sole reason for this behavior. Now, I'm not charging every male that, you know, some guys may occasionally do something like that. I'm talking occasionally. But I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the guys who do this consistently, repeatedly, overwhelmingly, and in a fixated manner. That's all they talk about. Now, I've noticed that very often their reaction is a knee-jerk response to frustration and never been able to get the woman they want. You know, they've been rejected repeatedly. They're angry about that, of course. It could also be the hurt of failed relationships and the disappointment they suffered. It could also reflect their fears about women, their rage at women for denying them pussy and time and energy and dates and everything else that they wanted from women. So even though they're angry at women for denying them these things, they also desire women. So this puts them in a very unique and frustrating uh, position. I can understand why you know they would be a little upset, but this, uh, the, their resulting behavior, of course, is not going to bring about the change in their lives and the women that they seek to acquire. It's not going to happen. So it really doesn't matter why they do what they do, nor does it matter if the abuse, the undercover abuse is intentional or not. The damage to a woman's self-esteem and her emotional stability, if she listens to that bullshit, is still the same, and it can be quite considerable. Black women should not take to heart the criticisms of toxic black men online or the ones in their personal lives, which could include husbands, boyfriends, family members, bosses, co-workers, any of that. Positive. Go to 540. Listen to this, brothers. Because if somebody came in your house with that camera, is this you? Bring it out. Is this you? Bring it out. Huh? Bring it out. Somebody came in your house with the camera. Is this you? Play the video. It's of uh, psychological and verbal abuse. So what I want to do today is kind of go over some of those points so that you can recognize them when you see them. Because really, um, you want to be able to recognize a guy that exhibits this kind of nonsensical behavior so that you can extricate yourself from the relationship <coughs> Excuse me, before you get too deeply involved. Um, you want to watch out for men that criticize you about your positive traits. And what their goal is to keep you in your place. They don't want you to feel too good about yourself. The things that you like about yourself or the things that other people compliment you on, he will negate them, downplay them, or tease you about them. He'll ridicule you. He, his goal is to make you feel small, incapable, and not good enough. The same thing he feels about himself. You want to watch out for guys that criticize and condemn all women of a particular race. They'll come up with these negative, broad, sweeping generalizations, especially when the woman he's speaking about is the same race that he is. You really want to just like put them on the ignore for real. Watch out for men that drink too much or do drugs. That gives him a ready excuse to hurt you. See, since he's under the influence, you know, you really can't hold him responsible for anything he did or said that hurt you, made you cry, whatever. You know, he was drunk, he was high, he didn't know what he was doing. You want to watch out for guys that make promises that they rarely, if ever, keep. If you're constantly feeling disappointed and you feel like you're alone in your endeavors, you're feeling insecure, you're feeling stressed, and he does nothing to assist you, he promises that he's going to, but he definitely doesn't, he never comes through for you. Another one, that, that's, that is psychological abuse. A man that keeps you on pins and needles with wild mood swings. Again, the goal here is to keep you off center, to make you feel insecure, to have you jumping through hoops, because you want to try to do everything you can to keep him calm and to make him predictable. What you really need to do is put that nigga on the ignore. You want to watch for, con for the guys that, that constantly tell you stuff that, that kind of make you feel like you can never be successful. These are men that want to make you feel insecure about yourself and your ability to achieve. 
He wants, wants, to, he he wants you to believe that you can't make it without his help, even though, of course, he promises to give it and he never does. So you see how that goes? You've caught this vicious cycle. His real goal is he wants you to feel like, uh, he wants to feel rather that he will have more control over you and that you won't leave him if you feel that you can't be successful and do any, achieve anything without his help. The same help that he never gives you. Brothers are acting just like that. Bring it out. They acting just like that. But we get the mask it, man with the garments and the fringes and the precept. Bring it out. We get the mask it, man. But brothers in the house acting just like that. Bring it out. Just like that. I know what I'm on, fam. Don't 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 play me, bro. Don't play me. Don't play me. You feel me? I know what I'm on. And you watch, you know you acting like that too. You know you is. But the woman been telling you all this time and you just ignore her and you wanna keep her down. Cause your hatred for women. Y'all heard that? Bring it out. Bring it out. Give me Ecclesiastes 10 and 1. And this is the breakdown and the fall of a woman. You got to understand, for a woman to get into that predicament, a man has to do it to her. That man got to do it to her. But the man, no, nah, man, I ain't did nothing, man. You ask the man what he do, man, I'm good, man. I'm keeping the commandments. Bring it out. I'm keeping the commandments. You see me? I'm, I'm at the Shabbat every seventh day. I'm at the I'm, I'm, I'm at the feast day, man. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a soldier. I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm an officer. I'm a I'm a deacon. I'm a I'm a I'm a captain. I'm a I'm a I'm a trooper. I'm chief priest. Bring it out. Bring it out. I'm a priest. Bring it out. At home, acting just like the video. Bring That's it out, boy. It's gonna be some conversations going on later on. Read this up. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 1. Read. A wise judge will instruct his people. See that wise man, he's gonna instruct his own house. Read. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. And his house is gonna be well ordered. Read. As the judge of the people is himself. As that woman is, is the same way as that man is. Read. So are his own, so are his children. Read. And what manner of a man? The ruler of the city is. It ain't just how that man is in his own house, read. So are all they that dwell therein. Just how everybody gonna be in that household. He got a sour spirit, everybody in the house got a sour spirit, read. An unwise king. See, an unwise man, read. Destroy this people. He gonna destroy his own house, read. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be in heaven. Give me Proverbs 12 and 22. And this is the downfall of the woman. This is the woman why the, this is the reason why the woman having a problem with submitting. This is the reason why the woman is having a problem with falling in her place. Bring it out. This is the reason why the woman is not being the daughter of Sarah because these men are not sons of Abraham. Bring it out. They're not. And it take time, man. Look at yourself. Read this. Proverbs. 12 and 25. Read. Heaviness in the heart of man maketh it stoop, but a good work maketh it glad. Read. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, but the way of the wicked seduceth them. He read it. The slothful man roasted not that which he took in hunting, but the substance of a diligent man is precious. Verse 27, it says, The slothful man roasted not that which he hunted. I'm going to tell you, Bruce, too, something, man. You in the house acting like that, you're not the same man when you was courting, huh? See, when you was out there hunting for that, when you went out hunting, you, you, you was, you was, you was, you was, you was, you was immaculate, bro. Calling every day, texting every day, flowers, gifts, necklace, right, out to eat, movies. She had over heels for you, bro. Then after you got it, man, you don't even cook it. Bring it out. Bring it out. Just let it go to rock. That's right. You know, you just, you know, don't do the same things that you was doing when you first got her. You know, you know, you just 
you know, you know, you know, I got her, you know, bagged her brew, you know what I'm saying? She my wife now, you know, I, all I gotta do is pay the bills. Bring it out. Bring it out. Read verse 27 again. The slothful man roasted not that which he took in hunting. See, the slothful man roasted not that which he took in hunting. See, that slothful man, he gonna do everything, everything he got in his power to bag the sister. Everything in his power, fam. But as soon as he did, as soon as he get it, he don't even cook it. Yeah. You say, but the substance of that diligent man, though, is precious. He gonna know. He gonna know. This is the downfall of the woman. Give me Ecclesiasticus 24 and 17. This is how the woman, because how she is today. It's because of the man. Now again, bro, again, I'm going to say it again. You got some sisters out there, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know, look, look, you know, it might not be no help for the sister. Hey, look, but bro, majority of our sisters are not like that. Read this out. Ecclesiastes. 24 and 17. Read. Now, as the vine brought forth, I for the as the vine brought I forth pleasant savor, and my flowers are the fruit of honor and riches. I am the mother of fair love and fear and knowledge and holy hope. I therefore, being eternal, am given to all my children, which are named of him. Keep reading. Come unto me, all ye. That be desirous of me, and fill yourselves with my fruit. For my memorial is sweeter than honey, and my inheritance than the honeycomb. No, look, hold that. Give me Matthew's five, give me Matthew's 15 and 7. Again, brothers, this is the downfall of the woman. When you in the house acting like that, bro, that destroys the sister, man. That destroys her. You emotionally beat her down. You verbally beat her down. You come in and then, then she going to whatever camp that she in, whatever class that she in, she getting torn down. She getting torn down on every single level of her life. Bring it out. Every level of her life. Bring it out. And brothers just get a pass with it, man. Brothers just get away with it. Because he a captain. Because he an officer. Because he a soldier. Because he got because he know a few precepts. This is sickening, man. It's time for you brothers to start being accountable for your actions. Read this. Matthew 15 and 7. Read. Ye hypocrite. Read again. Ye hypocrite. Read again. Ye hypocrite. Read. Well did Esaias prophesy of you, saying, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips. But their heart is far from me. Keep reading. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines. The commandments of men. Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men, Bruce. Gotta get out of that. Jump down to verse 13. Verse 13. Read. And he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind leaders of the blind. Uh huh. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the pit. They had then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. Declare unto us this parable, read. And Yahushai said, Are ye also yet without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entered in at the mouth goeth into the belly. Give me Ecclesiastes 25 and 17. That's what I needed. Sorry about that, man. I was looking for that. I'm just showing, man, the downfall of the woman, man. When the brothers is in that house, narcissistic. Ego issues. Bring it out. Bipolar. See, when you in the household acting like that, this is how the woman start acting. Read this. Ecclesiastes 25 and 17. Read. The wickedness of a woman changing her face. See, when the brother in the house acting like that, her countenance start changing. Her spirit start changing. Her emotions start changing. Her feelings start changing. Read. Read. And darkening her countenance like sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors. And when he heareth it, Shall side bitter. You see the husband, man, the husband is just like the woman. The man is always complaining way more than women do. Read. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. 
Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. A wicked woman falls in portion to a wicked man. Read. As the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the age, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. Jump down to verse 22. Verse 22. Read. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. You know the scriptures say, wives, submit yourselves unto your husband as it is fit. What if you maintain in your husband? How you gonna submit to a man you maintain it? Bring it out. Bring it out. She maintaining you, bro. She supporting you spiritually, bro. Financially, bro. She the one that's supporting you. See, when them roles get reversed, man, you in the house acting like that, that's when she become full of anger. Bring it out. She wasn't born with that. That's when she become full of anger. That's when she become imputed and with much reproach. Keep reading. A wicked woman abated the courage, making a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband in distress, making weak hands and feeble knees. Keep reading. Of the woman came the beginning of sin. And through her, we all die. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 56. Yeah. After you after you mentally abusing her, after you're psychologically abusing her with your manipulation tactics, with your narcissistic tactics, with your crazy man Hebrew Israelite tactics to try to get her to submit to you, she start being a devil. She start rebelling, especially if she maintaining you, then she going crazy. And then you see the next evolution is going to be this. Read this. Deuteronomy 28 and 56. Read. The tender and delicate woman among you. See, the woman is tender and delicate. Read. Which would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom. How you think she got there? Bring it out. Huh? Bring it out. How do you think she got to that place? One day, what, she, 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 she drunk a four loco? How do you think that the woman got to this place to where her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom? He did that to her. It was him. It was the way that he acted. It was the way that he don't like taking accountability for his damn mistakes. So that's when she become like that. Read. And toward her son. And toward her daughter. And toward her young one that coming out from between her feet. And toward her children which she shall bear. For she shall eat them for one of all things, secretly in the seeds and straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in thy gate. Give me Proverbs 12 and 1. That's how the woman start getting destructed down. That's how she starts shutting down. Because she's not getting what she needs, man. But for the brothers, see it. You know what I'm saying? It's about us, man. We got to get what we need, bro. Bump the woman. Bring it out. Bring it it's out. about us. But then when that woman come to you and try to and try to ask you what she need, man, you just reject her, man. You don't even give her a chance to talk. You just, you just, you just, you just, you just, you just act like the man on the video I just showed you. Bring it out. Crazy. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Read this. Proverbs 12 and 1. Read. Whoso loveth instruction, loveth knowledge. But he that hated reproof is brutish. A good man obtaineth favor. Of the Lord, but a man, but a man of wicked devices will he condemn. He read him. A man shall not establish, shall not be established for wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall be moved, shall not be moved. A white, a virtuous woman is a crown of her husband. That wisdom and that virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. Read. But she that maketh a shame. Is a rottenness in his bone. And the man does that to the woman. And you got very few, very few instances where the sister needs to get put to death. I mean, she's just, there's no hope. Yeah. But very instances. But I guarantee you, the sister that needs to be put to death, if you put love in that sister, I guarantee you she's going to get her stuff right. I guarantee you that. So you love your neighbor as yourself. If you put the love into the woman, she will be the woman that we need, Bruce. That we need, Bruce. Write it out. But we got to do it. That's right. But we force it. You see that? Read that. Do that. Come on, fam. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give me Proverbs 11 and 1. Proverbs 11 and 1. Read. A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Read again. A false balance is a 
abomination to the Lord. Read again. A false balance is abomination to the Lord. So we got to lift these sisters up, man. Or if we don't, that's an abomination to our God. Right. That's an abomination. Read. But they just wait is his delight. Give me Galatians 6 and 7. We out. Again, man, so much left on the table, man. So much left on the table. This hour and a half kind of getting tough for me now. Can't even really. You know what I'm saying? Can't even really, like, <clears throat> deliver it. Read this up. Galatians 6 and 7. Read. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth. That shall he also reap. How you is in that house, man? That's what the product of how your woman gonna be. Bring it out. How you treat that sister? How you treat that single sister? That's the product of she gonna be. Bring it out. Whatever seeds you sow, that's what you are gonna reap, man. That's right. And again, I'm challenging these brothers, man, to step up their teaching. I'm challenging brothers. First, I told the brothers, take the white man out your doctrine. Watch how it change. Watch how the scriptures start getting more clear. Second thing is, man, stop degrading the woman with the scriptures and start uplifting the woman. Maybe the wisdom that you're supposed to be be time, then you can sit at that table with that wisdom and caress her and love her. Shalom, Bruce. Shalom. Uh -huh. Let's go!